I hate to say it, but SLS is starting to feel like SOS as we encounter potentially another problem ahead of the next launch attempt November 14th. If you've been following the saga of trying to launch this NASA moon rocket, you know that we've had many scrubs and delays, actually delays since 2017, believe it or not. But now we are worried about subtropical storm Nicole as that is threatening Florida. And SLS was just rolled back to the pad Friday, November 4th. So the big question on many people's minds is, will they be rolling it back again due to the winds and the danger from this storm? As of now, they say no. So if you'll remember, they rolled SLS back to the VAB during Hurricane Ian, but with subtropical storm Nicole, NASA says they will keep the 4.1 billion dollar rocket out on the pad, at least for now. So for now, the SLS rocket sits awaiting the Artemis 1 mission at launch pad 39B, but we're getting more concerned as the storm begins to strengthen. NASA's primary concern is those winds. Don't get me wrong, the SLS rocket structure is strong, but the wind can still affect some more sensitive elements. Eric Berger wrote a great article on this recently on Ars Technica, and he says, according to SLS rockets chief engineer John Blevins, this rocket can withstand wind gusts of up to 74.1 knots. Of course, knots are used in meteorology and maritime navigation. They are equal to one nautical mile per hour. So in this case, SLS can withstand gusts up to 85 miles per hour or 137 kilometers per hour, depending on which system you use. So to give you a little perspective on their decision-making process, back on September 26th, when they decided, yes, they were going to roll back SLS to the VAB during Hurricane Ian, they were looking at just a 6% chance of hurricane force sustained winds, 64 knots or greater at Kennedy Space Center. So now with Nicole approaching Florida and their decision to keep SLS on the launch pad, apparently they're only looking at a 4% chance of hurricane-like sustained winds. But apparently that percentage is changing. As of this morning, the National Hurricane Center forecast says that Nicole will transition from a subtropical into a tropical storm, and that could make a category one hurricane. So that puts the odds for hurricane force winds at 10%. So that's much higher than what they considered necessary to roll back during Hurricane Ian at only just 6%. So yeah, I don't know. This is not looking good. And I'm flying into Florida on Saturday, so I'm also hoping that my flight doesn't get delayed. So yeah, the business of launching rockets is so hard for so many reasons. So as we know, we have November 14th, the 16th, and the 19th as possible launch windows for SLS. I'm really hoping that it goes because it sounds like there's not a lot of money and not a lot of time left to make this thing happen. So I wanna know from you in the comments, are you worried about the weather affecting the next launch attempt for Artemis? Is this something that you're following? Do you plan to be there? So yeah, let me know in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this update. I mean, unfortunately it's not the greatest news, but I wanna keep you afloat on what is going on. So I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Ellie in Space if you haven't already.